Good day everyone, we are Team B and we will now proudly present our output for the third PBL activity. This is our finished product, a flyer about cell cycle disorders and diseases. What is cell cycle? The cell cycle or cell division cycle is the series of events that take place in a cell that causes it to divide into two daughter cells. Kinds of cell cycle diseases and disorders Cancer, Celiopathies, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's What is cancer? Cancer is an abnormal growth of cells which tend to proliferate an uncontrolled way and in some cases to metastasize or spread. Cancer is not one disease. It is a group of more than 100 different and distinctive diseases. What is ciliopathies? Ciliopathies comprise a group of disorders associated with gen genetic mutations encoding defective proteins, which result in ab abnormal formation or function of cilia. What is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurologic disorder that causes the brain to shrink and brain cells to die. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia, a continuous decline in thinking, behavioral and social skills that affects a person's ability to function independently. What is Parkinson's? Parkinson's disease is a brain disorder that leads to shaking, stiffness, and difficulty with walking, balance, and coordination. Older woman and her caregiver, Parkinson's symptoms usually begin gradually and get worse over time. As the disease progresses, people may have difficulty walking and talking. They may also have mental and behavioral changes sleep problems, depression, memory difficulties, and fatigue. The group's reflections. The stuff that I learned on investigation concerning cancer and ciliopathies, they are both rare situations but one of the most untreatable ailments. There are currently no authorized medicine to treat the majority of them. In fact, most uncommon genetic diseases involving functional impairments caused by genetic mutation are like this. The only way to heal it is to have a better understanding of it. Throughout my investigation, I learned quite a bit about cancer and ciliopathies. They are both exceptional occurrences, but they are among the most challenging illnesses to cure. Due to a massive lack of approved medicine, the vast majority of them are currently incurable. In fact, the vast majority of unusual genetic disorder are caused by functional deficiencies caused by genetic abnormalities. The only way to cure it is to have a better understanding or knowledge about the subject. I learned a lot about cancer and ciliopathies as a result of my research. Both are rare occurrences, yet they are among the most difficult illnesses to treat. The great majority of them are currently incurable due to a severe dearth of recognized medications. In fact, the functional inadequacies produced by genetic defects account for the great majority of uncommon genetic illnesses. It can only be cured by gaining a deeper comprehension or knowledge of the issue. What I discovered throughout my research on cancer and ciliopathies, they are both uncommon occurrences, yet one of the most incurable diseases. Currently, there are no approved medications to treat the vast majority of them. In fact, the vast majority of rare genetic disorders involving functional impairments induced by genetic mutations are of this kind. The only way to heal it is to have a deeper knowledge of what is going on. The things that I learned on my research about cancer and ciliopathies, they are both rare cases but one of the most untreatable symptoms. Currently, there are no approved drugs available for treating most of them. In fact, this is the case for most of the rare genetic disorders involving functional abnormalities through genetic mutations. The only hope we have to cure it is to understand it more. Alzheimer's is a disease that doesn't have any cure yet. It's possible to have this mostly older people. Shortening of memory is an effect 
and can lead to not remembering at all. The brain slowly shrinks that causes some of the effects of Alzheimer's, like forgetting the conversations happen. Last in a fa familiar place and so on. During this activity, I have been able to know more about cancer and ciliopathies. I know now that they are rare and are very hard to cure. There is actually still no proper cure for these and the only way to find one is to learn about its mutations and study what makes it very invulnerable to today's medicine. I have gained more knowledge about the topic of cancers, and it is unfortunate that it is still has no cure. However, there are treatment practices that may cure a patient diagnosed with cancer. Who would have thought of that the cell cycle would play a big role on this topic, or cancer cells being the reason for cancer? As a student, I wholeheartedly support the research of cancer, for it is possible to find a cure for cancer. Many lives will be saved. That is all. Thank you for listening.